God is always there. He's never left your side, no matter what you're going through. Remember that he will give you the strength to overcome. He didn't help you up to this point just to leave you. Remember God's timing, not yours. God says, I want you to know that I'm ordering your steps. You don't have to worry. You don't have to be frustrated and impatient. I just want you to trust me with all of your heart. It's going to work out. I already have you on the right path. God says, Pray instead of worrying. Pray instead of stressing. Pray instead of panicking. Pray instead of overthinking. Pray instead of assuming. Pray instead of controlling. Pray instead of wondering. In every situation, just pray. God is working things out for you, even if you don't see it. Be thankful and have faith. Trust God in the storm. You'll see the miracle. Seven promises from God. He will always be with you. He knows best for you. He will always hear you. He will protect you. He will give you peace. He will never leave you. He will wipe every tear. God's word is filled with promises from our creator to provide and deliver. The Bible is the ultimate source for truth, and God is faithful to fulfill all his promises. Don't lose hope. Don't give up. You're one step away from victory. I have heard your prayer. I'm able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all you could ever ask or think. Be encouraged. I am with you always. I want you to know that I'm ordering your steps. You don't have to worry. You don't have to be frustrated and impatient. I just want you to trust me with all of your heart. It's going to work out. I already have you on the right path. Angels are trying to alert you to a situation that needs your attention. It is a time when you need to pay attention to your surroundings. Be aware of the people around you only if necessary. This message from God may seem negative, but it is important to understand that the angels have a higher perspective and their signs may not be what it seems to be a negative thoughts. Your angels are saying, Beloved one, we come to you with the message of love and guidance. We understand that there may be times when you feel frustrated or upset, and it is natural to have emotions. But we want to remind you that anger is a powerful emotion and can negatively impact your relationships. We want to remind you that allowing anger to control you can lead to words and actions that can cause harm to yourself and the ones you care about. It is important to remember that every action reacts. And when you lash out in anger, you risk losing someone you care about. Your words have already made a negative impact on someone. Now pray with me. Dear God, I just want to thank you for everything that you have done for me. Thank you for all the blessings you have bestowed upon me. You are so good to me. I do not deserve any of it, but I thank you, Lord, for your grace, your love, your mercy, and your kindness. I pray that I will continue to worship and glorify you for the rest of my days, and that show others how good and amazing you are. Thank you, God. Dear God, I just want to take the time to thank you, Lord. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for everything you have done for me and continue to do for me. 
I love you so much, God. I pray that I continue doing your will in my life and not my own. Help me to stay focused on fulfilling your plans and purpose for my life. Want to live a life that is only pleasing to you. Remove anything that distracts me or tries to drag me away from what you have created me to do. In Jesus' name I pray.